going? I'm Abby. I'm one of the nurses here. How can I help? Hi, I'm Mrs. Neon and I've never owned a cat before and I don't know what I do to do. That's fine. How old is your little kid? She's very cute, by the way. She is eight years old. Would you like to hold her? Yeah, sure. Oh my god, she's so cute. Now, has she been vaccinated at all? Uh, I believe she has um, at about eight weeks of age. Okay, so she said she you said she's eight weeks old? Um, I don't really know. Okay. Well, if they're vaccinated at eight weeks old, usually, generally, the rule is to vaccinate them every two, every four weeks. So, um, the next vaccination will probably be at twelve weeks. So, did you want to book that in for that time? I would time? love to. Not a problem. We can do that. And do you know if she's microchipped at all? Um, I believe that she isn't just yet. Okay. Well, when we do that next vaccination, we can do the microchipping for you as well. Um, it doesn't take very long and it's, you know, it's not much of a cost after the vaccination as well. It's going to be done in the same area. Um, preventative wise, what are you going to, is she been indoor cat or outdoor cat? Well, I've heard about these cats with FIV. Yes. So I think I might just be keeping her indoor for the time being okay. and then maybe slowly making her an outdoor indoor cat. Okay. Well, when she goes inside, um, it's not, if she's going to be a fully indoor cat, the FIV testing and the, the vaccinations isn't necessarily something that you need but if she is going to be going outside you probably will need to have um, the yearly vaccination for that just to combat any of that just because it is transferred through mating scratches any bodily fluids basically um, and we don't want her getting that because it is it is treatable but it doesn't it's not nice it means she can never come in contact with another cat again um, and uh, what are we doing bedding wise for her? She currently has her own little bed under the stairs, mm -hmm. but not like in her own little cupboard. Okay. Under the stairs, and then she pretty much anywhere else. Okay. Does she scratch anywhere? Um, she's pretty good at the moment. I will catch her sometimes scratching up the couch, mm -hmm. but I kind of want to deal with that before it becomes a big problem. Not a problem. So we have a few options. We do have a beautiful product that is called Fellaway. It is a pheromone that essentially cats have in their um, cheeks so when they rub against you they're putting a the pheromone so it calms them down um, and this is basically just sort of a synthetic version of that essentially we do have the spray but it only lasts a couple hours it's usually more for transport we also have the diffusers that you can leave on and i believe they last up to about a month or two um, i can double check them at the front for you um, but another really good way to combat scratching, it is a natural thing that they do do. So they, they scratch to shed their claws. So it's not an, it's not a bad thing. We can get her scratching post or if she likes, so you can get scratching pads as well. So you can put them up against the wall so they're still mm. scratching. It's just good enrichment for them. Um, and food wise, so she's a beautiful little kitten. We do have... Um, some kitten diets from Hills, which do range in price. Um, we also have canned and wet food, so there is a variety of them. With the wet food, if she doesn't like wet food so much, you can dry dry food and wet it down a little bit. Um, and grooming wise, now she's a long haired cat. Rag dolls are very long haired, they get a lot of hair. Um, I would suggest maybe grooming her every single day or with a grooming brush or even taking it to the groomer. Um, we do offer grooming here. Um, I'm not exactly sure on the pricing, but we can find that out for you. Do you have any questions? No, I do not. That's okay. Have a lovely day.